All right. So let's say you have a scene like mine right now, okay? Everything in here, it's uh, textured, right? So let's say you have a scene like mine, you have everything textured, and there's way too many objects. Because right now, as you can see, I have uh, over 7,459 objects going on, okay? And now you want to get a clay render, all right? You want to get a clay render of the whole scene. Maybe some people want to see if it's real or not, so you want to get them a clay render to prove uh, your work is real. The easiest way you can do th this is to select one object. So let's say maybe this object over here, right? We're going to go over into the materials section. So you can see we have all these uh, materials going on, all right? Just plenty of materials. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new material. So just click on new, and we're going to call this clay, all right? That is, you want to get a clay render, all right? Now set up the color for the clay. So we're going for a dark brown. So I'm going to set it around here. I'm just going to click it so Blender doesn't crush. All right, so let's say we're going for a look like this, right? So now we have the material created. Now we have to go around and apply to each object. Do we have to do that? No. All we can do is to go into the view layer right here, okay? So you have your view layer selected, your current view layer. If you have multiple ones, you want to select the one you want to use. And then select it, just go over into that view layer, go to the view layers tab down here, and then scroll all the way down to override right here, okay? So just open up this tab, and then you can see it says material override. Just that simple. Click on that, and then select... Uh, the clay, which is this one. So once you select the clay, it's going to override all of the materials in there. And then when you render this out, which I'm going to show you right now, first off, let's take the uh, clay out of it, the override clay. And then let me show you what it looks like first. All right. So you can see the materials are uh, going on right now. So what we're going to do is let's go back to solid view and then let's load in the uh, material override, which is the clay. And now let's render this out again. Now you can see the clay is activated and it has override all the materials we have going on as the name suggested, all right? So it's just that simple. Now, when you want to render this out, all you, want to, all you want to do now is to just hit on the render and render image and you're good to go. So just click on render image and that gives you the image that you need. All right, so that's the final result, okay? So it's just that simple. That is how you get a clay render over uh, multiple materials and uh, multiple objects just that easily, all right? So I'll see you guys in the next episode.